has been extremely supportive and instrumental in helping that new community come into being. This is a multi-faith, primarily at this point, Muslim, Christian, and Jewish residential community at Stony Point Center committed to the study and practice of nonviolence together. And that's about, it's an effort that's about two years old now. It fits and starts, as you can imagine, with any creation of a residential uh, inter, uh, interfaith community. But it's very exciting, and uh, it's, it's basically a community of communities, which is to say it's got Shomer Shalom, the Jewish network for, for the Torah of Nonviolence, the Muslim Peace Fellowship, founded through FOR in 1993, and a new network, Christian uh, network, called the Luke 6 Project. And those three groups together are all in residence at the campus on, at Stony Point Center and then looking for ways to do work together on issues around immigration, Israel-Palestine, conflict transformation, um, food justice work, and pr uh, advocacy for persons who have been incarcerated. So that group has now actually become a member as well, or an affiliate as well of FOR. It's, there's, I, I would say there's a lot of really exciting organizing going on there, and it can't easily be characterized. Each, in my experience, each religious peace fellowship or affiliate is doing it in slightly different ways, but there's real growth and a lot of energy happening right now. Other questions? Okay, oh, yeah, Ann. I have a, a sort of a question about people who might not be related to these organizations. In other words, I was very pleased when Mark came to, Ari to Tempe, Arizona, and we had a chance to talk to him. But we no longer have a unit of a, uh, a local organization, and I've met many people who are not part of any religious group, per se, and so I'm wondering if there's so a way that you're reaching out to these people other than just say, take Fellowship Magazine.